Good evening. It's the news thousands of pupils and parents have been waiting for. Tonight, we know that schools in Wales will be fully open in September. Education Minister Kirsty Williams announced there will be two weeks of flexibility at the start of term, but everyone should return by the 14th. She told the Welsh Government briefing that the decision is backed by scientific advice. Our education and family correspondent, Bethan Lewis, reports. And you're all still smiling. That's the most impressive part. Back at school, briefly, before the summer holidays. This is the second week schools have been open, but the two-metre rule and other restrictions means it's been limited. That's set to change in September. At Prestatyn High, it won't exactly be back to normal, but it should feel a lot more like it. I think it'll be better to go back and just get a bit more no- normality. Every time you have to walk in and out the door, uh, you have to use hand sanitizer, and when you have to go to the toilet, uh, there has to be a team that would come and collect you. It's very odd. I still think they'll have to like keep the classrooms very like, like not many people there, but it'll start slowly getting back. I'm just very excited, uh, and I'd like to go back to school. Schools return to full capacity next term, and there'll only be limited social distancing within contact groups of around 30 pupils. It's accepted that avoiding some mixing between different groups will be difficult, for example, on school transport. A lot of details have to be worked out, but at Prestatyn High, they're confident they'll adapt again, just as they've done already. When you go down the corridors, you see that everything is is marked, so we're adhering to social distancing guidelines. And again, in the classroom, um, you'll notice that um, we'll have no more than 10 pupils per class. So again, we're following the the rules there, hand sanitizer units everywhere. The minister says her decision is supported by the scientific advice, and that should reassure parents. But parents won't initially be penalised if they don't send children back to school. We will be expecting schools to reach out to those parents Uh, and at some stage we may uh, indeed uh, return to the situation as it was pre-Covid where fines will be issued to parents who who don't send their children uh, into school. This dad had safety concerns about sending his children back before the summer. But how does he feel about next term? I felt like this was another rash decision by the Welsh Government, to be honest. We don't know what the conditions are going to be like in September and for them to so categorically come out now and say that all children are are going to go back I think is another reckless decision. Others are delighted that their children will be back learning in the classroom. I'm happy about the news, I welcome it. I'm glad that it's based on scientific data um, rather than pressure from parents Um, and I'm really really happy that there's a, a full introduction to all children come September. Along with today's plan, extra funding to help some pupils catch up. The £29 million will be targeted on those studying for exams and the most disadvantaged. It'll cover the cost of 600 extra teachers and 300 teaching assistants for the next school year. Most teaching unions are supportive of today's announcements, but some want reassurance on safety and emphasise the scale of practical challenges. Nothing certain while living alongside the virus, but the goal is now clear to get all pupils back learning full time at school.